Welcome back everyone. So earlier this year, there was this like two to three month period where I would use Skarmory on a ton of different teams and eventually I just kind of stopped using it, but I don't think it fell off as much as people think it did. I know I stopped using it, but pretty much everybody else did as well. It's still very viable as a physical blanket check with a Brave Bird plus Whirlwind. I definitely wouldn't run Iron Defense plus Body Press anymore because it's so bad into ghost types and there's Terra Ghost to worry about on top of that, but Spikes plus Whirlwind is a really good combination when there's a ton of Pokemon just trying to set up in the metagame. Tinglu is also here just to form a hazard stacking core with it. If you're running Skarmory, the best way to run it is just run hazard stack and then pair it with Golden Go as so you can guarantee the hazard stay up. We also have Dragonite just to pick off weakened Pokemon with extreme speed once they're in range because of all the hazards. So it's also Dragon Dance, we can use it as a win condition, but E speed is the main point of having this Pokemon. Deoxys is here as speed control and then Ogre Pond is the main wall breaker. So let's go get some wins. Okay, so this opponent has like a partial rain team and then just scary Pokemon outside of that. What I want to do here is lead off with my Deoxys. It covers the Glamora. Kind of covers Iron Treads, like we can superpower that if I want to. Or we could go Skarm, but I have a feeling they're gonna be like a Volt Switch, so we'll probably just go for the superpower in that instance, but I really don't see a bad lead for Deoxys here outside of maybe Golden Go, but we have the option to go into Tinglu in that case and just throw off Ruination or Earthquake really. So let's lead off with this guy. They lead Val, so... Okay, it's Speed Cork. That's fine. We can deal with Val. I think I just want to go right for... Well, it depends. Can I live a knockoff? I kind of need to know, so let's just go ahead and calc that immediately, because... If I die right here, I would rather switch out into, like, Tinglu or something like that, so... Knockoff does have a good chance to kill if they're physical. Let's go for Psycho Boost, as they actually Terra Steel. They do have the knockoff, but I'm glad they Terra it immediately, because that makes this way easier to deal with. Let's just go out into Tinglu now, and... Like, I know I lost a good Pokemon turn one, but they're probably going to lose to Dragonite, because they just burned their Terra that early, so... It's, like, okay with me. I guess they didn't want me getting up rocks, and they almost died at Earthquake. I kind of want a Ruination here, predicting Pelipper. Should I do that? No, I'll just Earthquake again. I should have done that, but it's fine. What do you go for? Probably U-turn, right? I'll just go for Ruination here. They have Weather Ball. Okay, that is Choice Specs. Jeez. I mean, hey, if you knock me out, Dragonite's coming out, dude, so good luck with that. In fact, I'm just gonna go for Rocks, because if they switch, that's fine. I think they kind of realize that they can't afford to do it that way, so yeah, they switch out as well. And they knock me out with CC, but this is all good, so what I want to do here is I think just go Dragonite and E-Speed isn't a bad idea. Just to pick this off now, and maybe it'll bluff that I'm Choice Band instead of, you know, the other option. Okay, it ejects out, that's really random. Hmm, was not expecting that, yeah. <laughs> So go with Treads, this might have Ice Spinner. Let's just go Golden Go. If they Ice Spinner, yeah, now they're gonna Earthquake, right? So now we'll go Hard Ogre Pond. If they Rapid Spin here, they got me, but they're not going to, yeah. So we can just Ivy Cudgel now. And they can't Terra, I think this will kill. It should, right? I mean, I know I'm not terra but... Come on, it's super effective. This is still good for Water Absorb, so... Like, what's the plan now? We still have to deal with Golden Go if it's a Balloon, but outside of that, I don't see what stops Dragonite at all. Sex off the Val. Okay, that's a good play. But, like, even Ogre Pond is just gonna threaten everybody. Like, who do you even want to go out into? Oh, they're giving me the Balloon. Okay, that's kind of what I need. I think I take the Balloon, then go for the Dragonite win. It's not better to do it the other way around, I think. Will I ever Terra Dragonite? Is it useful? <laughs> Might help against Barrascuta. Because if I can just Terra Water Ivy Cudgel right now, I think that's what I want to do. If it kills, but I don't know if it kills. Is Ogre Pond that strong? Golden Go? Oh, it looks like it could kill. 82 to 97. It doesn't actually do the job. 43, that means it's Fizz Def, because it took literally no damage. Which actually means I can probably go Golden Go here and outspeed pretty easily. So that's what I'm thinking we do. 
Yeah, let's go right for the Shadow Ball. Goes hard treads. You can probably go for Earthquake. That's fine. Let's just Shadow Ball again. Does knock me out. Okay. So I think I just go Dragonite and Dragon Dance and that's just a game at this point. I mean, you can go for Ice Spinner, but after the Dragon Dance, you're going to die. So I think I just win. And everybody else dies, so there's nothing they can really do. There's no amount of pivots that'll save them here. Goes for the spin, but now I Terra Normal to live the Ice Spinner, and it doesn't even matter. Is it worth Dragon Dancing again? Let's think about this. Is that greedy, or can I do that? Because let's say that I'm plus 2 speed. And it's an Iron Treads max speed at plus 1. I don't want to do the math, so I'm just going to check manually. Okay, I don't know why this has the Corp Drive in here. But anyway, plus 1 speed, 513. I do have its speed with plus 2. Okay, it was worth it, yeah, because now I'm faster. Wait, that's the wrong move. I saw the E, and I thought that was Earthquake, but this is Earthquake. Okay, phew. I'm glad I didn't uh, throw right there by misclicking. Because they could have Aqua Jet and stuff, but they just lose to Dragonite now. There's nothing they can do. I guess if they switch back and forth forever, like... Between these two, you could do something. Actually, Ice Spinner will kill the Pelipper, so they can't even do that. We have an opponent running triple dark offense, so this is very scary. Luckily, we do have some good counters to their Pokemon, like Skarmory is pretty decent into King Gambit and Roaring Moon, and then Tinglu is here for Darkrai. I do actually wish I had the Body Press in this game just to help out with those Pokemon, but they do have a Petcherunt, so maybe it's not the best idea to have that move. My Ogre Pond is very good right here, but I want to lead off with my... I think I lead Deoxys, because if they lead off with Landorus, I want to pressure that. And if they lead Darkrai, I'll just go into Tinglu to scout for Choice Scarf, so it's good either way. They do lead Darkrai, huh? Well, yeah, let's go Tinglu here, get up the rocks, do all that stuff. There's no point in risking them being Sashed or Scarf and just stay in, right? That would be such a throw, so this is the better option right here. Goes for Dark Pulse. That's definitely not Specs. 8 is no damage at all. But let's go right for rocks. Goes Lando. I have a feeling they're going to go for rocks too this turn, so here's the plan, I think. We're going to go for Ruination to weaken them. Ideally, we hit. There we go. They have the wrong HP stat because they would get 2 hit KO'd otherwise, but I guess it doesn't really matter because Ruination doesn't do 50 both times. Let's go out into Skarmory here, I think, on the U-turn. Is it worth taking damage on Skarmory? Could be a throw, potentially. I kind of want to stay in. But I also kind of want to catch them on the U-turn, so let's go Skarmory, yeah. If they explode, that's great too. Does it even get Explosion? I think it lost that. Anyway, this is a Spike. Oh, they have Taunt. Okay, that's annoying. I guess I go for Brave Bird. Oh, they have Helmet. I guess I'll just take the trade now, whatever. It's unfortunate, but like... I don't see what else I can do. Are they considering switching into like... Who even wants to come in? Is Petrod good Spit F or Fizz Def? I forget. It's good Fizz Def, so it could come in here. I can't really go Tinglu to predict it though, so let's just Brave Bird again. Take the KO, and Skarmory is just going to have to be low, I guess. So this is going to be a tough game against the Darks. Like King Gambit and Roaring Moon are a problem. I'll just let them knock this out, I guess. Like, I really don't know what I want to do about this right now. Yeah, kind of at a loss. Is it worth keeping this ever? I mean, I guess I could go Tinglu, and it's not the end of the world. Hopefully they don't focus Blast. Oh, it goes for a Nasty Plot. I should have just stayed in. So I'm assuming they have, like, Ice Beam or something? I'll just go for Earthquake. Oh, they're just going straight for Focus Blast. Okay. But there is no way you are hitting two of those, dude. You are cheating if you hit two of those. Okay, I guess he just hits two. Nobody hits two, though, so that's crazy. Dude, I wish I could just casually hit two Focus Blasts, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and check whether our Deoxys Ice Beam can kill. I don't want to go for, like, Superpower because there's potential for it to be Terra Poison. So I would rather go for Ice Beam. Ice Beam does 39 min, so yeah, we can go Deoxys. It's much more likely that they're Terra Poison here than anything else that would deal with Ice Beam, so let's just click that and knock them out safely, you know? 
And now they're gonna go out into like Roaring Moon or Val. It is Speed Booster Val, okay. So potentially knockoff coming out here. I really don't know what to do about this because like sure I could try to Terra here and beat this, but I think I'm gonna lose to King Gambit if I do that. <laughs> also, does Moonblast just straight up kill me or not? Iron Valiant. Moonblast to 73 to 87, that's not even like worth going for then. I think I sacked the Skarm. Goes for knockoff. Okay, so I could have Terra Fighting and killed it right there, but it probably wasn't even worth it, so it's fine. They can knock me out here with another knockoff, and we have a choice to make because at this point I think Dragonite's my best way to like actually pressure King Gambit, as crazy as that sounds. I think Golden Go can guarantee to live a knockoff, but if it doesn't, that's a big issue because I'm offensive. Let's do this correct. Like, if they're physical, Iron Valiant. Knock off to 70 to 83 always, so we can live it. So I go Golden Go here and make it rain. Is that just a game to King Gambit, though? <laughs> it could be. I wish I had Encore Ogre Pond. Maybe I'll change it to Encore. This is such an issue. I don't know. Can I beat? Oh, they go for Terra Dark knockoff. Okay, well, that's just really bad as well. Speed Booster, Terra Dark knockoff. Is that just game, or can I still deal with that? Let's run some calc. So I need to find out whether Ogre Pond can live or whether Dragonite can KO with E-Speed. I know I'm calcing a lot, but like this mod is just going to win if I don't know what's going on. Okay, so Ogre Pond will most likely live. There's a chance close combat kills, but it's so low that if they get the 89 roll, it is what it is, right? The Dragonite with Terra Normal E-Speed Raw doesn't kill, so this is what I have to go for. And if they get the close combat roll here, I'm at 87.7. It does, as we saw, 75 to 89. It is what it is, right? Cudgel should kill them after the drops. I mean, play rough will definitely kill if they don't go for anything else. So I guess we'll play rough. Oh, please don't miss. Okay, I, they just kind of threw. I don't know why they did that. Goes Petcherunt to go for a Malignant Chain, right? Does that just straight up KO me, though? Can I just SD here? Should I cudgel them to weaken it? What are, what's the correct play? I'm just gonna cudgel. Goes for Malignant Chain. You see, this sucks because they're gonna just recover here and I should have SD'd. Yeah, like as you can see, they recover and get back to a pretty good amount of health. Not what I wanted. Hmm. I really hope they're attack booster Roaring Moon and not the speed one. So I gotta go you here and click Psycho Boost. I gotta hit it. If I miss this, then I lose anyway. I don't think you want to keep this, though. It's not worth keeping, right? So we do knock it out. Please be Attack Booster so I outspeed with Superpower. That's all I need. It's Attack. Okay. So let's figure this out. If I Terra Fighting Superpower, does it kill them? Let's see. Deoxys against Roaring Moon. Oh, it absolutely does. Okay. Even a raw superpower has a chance to, which I kind of want to go for, but it's probably not worth it. It's just like then I have to get Sucker Punched, and can my Dragonite beat a King Gambit with minus 5 Fallen? I don't think it can. Kowtow into Sucker is going to destroy me. But Ice Beam doesn't do enough here. Like, it does 58 to 68, and I lose. So I have to go for this and just hope that Dragonite can beat a King Gambit. So they're going to go for Sucker, and there's nothing I can do about it. And then, I, I don't think I win this 1v1, but there's... You never know. I think I'll 2 it KO, but I think I'll die to the two attacks in combination. Because it's probably black, black Glasses. Wait, I think I can live Sucker. That did nothing. But that was through multi-scale? Okay, that's crazy. Dragonite into King Gambit. It's a 50-50, I think. Because Sucker Punch, without multi-scale, five allies fainted, blows me away. Yeah, so it's a 50-50. If they go for Sucker Punch here and I go for Earthquake, I lose. But if I E-speed on that Sucker Punch, I win. I think they're going to go for the Kowtow Cleave.
Yes, and they did. Nice. Well, that was a pretty crazy game, and now we have a game against an Aurora Veil vale team. So, against Veil, vale, we have a couple things we can try to do early on. Leading Ogre Pond isn't a bad idea, but... Like, I kind of want to lead Golden Go, just bluffing... Well, actually, I can't bluff Scarf, because I show Air Balloon. <laughs> so there's no point in doing that. I think I just lead Ogre Pond and see whether they lead with the Veil. Vale. They lead Dark Rise, like the other guy, so I'm just going to go Tinglu here again. I don't know if it's Sashed, I really don't know anything that's going on, but I hope they go for Pulse. They do. Start Timer, and... Like, this is a chance to just get up rocks. As they go into the Okie Dogie. Well, I don't think I'm worried about this, because we have Skarmory here. And we have Whirlwind plus Spikes, so... Oh, Focus Punch, what? That is so random. Wait, is this going to be a fast Roost? Because I don't want to die because I clicked it. Yeah, if I roost, I die to Focus Punch, right? Because Focus Punch goes at the end of the turn, and then I'm not flying type, so... That's a bit annoying. <laughs> Do I think they'll go for... I'm just gonna spike. They can knock me out. Like, whatever, dude. Go ahead and knock me out. Goes for Focus Punch again, yeah. But they're at 67, and they're very low, so it's not the end of the world. Could be Terra Dark. I don't think I predict that ever. Let's just go for Psycho Boost. I mean, I could be that guy and go for superpower. If they do Terra Dark here, what do I even do after? Dude, should I superpower on Terra Dark? Should I Ice Beam to cover, like, a mid-ground? I should have superpowered. Yeah, that was, like, so obvious, dude. That's such a throw. It's still winnable. I, I still think it's winnable, absolutely. Let's go ahead and Ivy Cudgel this. I'm sure they have Gunk Shot or something to KO me anyway, but... Like, with the Hazards up plus a Dragonite, we can cheese this win away. I definitely think so. Okay, especially if they're sacking Darkrai, which, is what, which was like their best form of speed control like that, so... Ghost Corviknight, you are not getting this defog off. Go ahead and U-turn all you want. <laughs> Is it winnable? I mean, I don't know. It's a long shot, but... Like, it was so tricky, dude. I'm gonna go for Make It Rain and knock them out while I can, and... Whatever they try to set up with, I'll just phase with Tinglu and hope that that's enough. I mean, it's gonna SD, right? But I have to go U. And... Just whirlwind them, I think. Because I can't lose to scale shot here. It's too big of a risk. They get all five hits, which is unfortunate. Out comes Okie Dogie. Honestly, I don't even think that Dragonite is my key to winning. It's Ogre Pond, so I'm going to go Dragonite here. And just use it to... Oh, they go for Ice Punch, predicting it. Good play. Are you max speed? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I should just go for Earthquake get a bit of damage off and then still three turns of veil dude this is so hard to win i don't know what to do can make it rain kill through veil from 28 like what is this thing stats okie dogie 88 86 focus punch knock off ice punch and something I think if I go Tinglu, like, they can't Focus Punch, and I should live Ice Punch, so... Let's just phase this around again. Yeah, we can live that. Oh, I literally didn't even know what that ability did, if I'm being honest. Like, what does that do? Just prevent phasing? Cannot be forced to switch out. Okay, sure, whatever. But, let's just go for Earthquake now. I should have just gone for the damage if I was gonna do this then. I think they're tempted to go for knockoff, but they go for Ice Punch, yeah. I mean... I guess I go... Golden go first and just attack, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Make It Rain can get the job done. Do I even want it to get the job done? Okay, that's actually good, I think, that I didn't kill. Is it? Like, what's the play here? I can't recover. There's no point. 
But if I KO them, they're gonna go Guard Chomp and just set up and win, I think. Because they SD, my Make It Rain can't kill at minus two, and then they scale shot. So let's let them KO me, go you. And. I mean, I guess I just like Cudgel right now. Knock you out that way, and then hope that like I can SD and then take the Brave Bird, something like that. So I tear a water here, I just go for SD. And it's really all I can try. Oh, they went for Defog. I think I won. Dude, like you die to this and nobody outspeeds. So good night. Uh, does Crown have a way to deal with this or do I just win with Ogre Pawn? This dies. Yeah, good night. And I think I just clean with this Mon, yeah. I knew it was going to be a win anyway. Ogre Pawn was way too strong after they sacked the Darkrai for no reason. It wasn't even speed booster, so who knows what it was, but GG. We have an opponent who is running a Heatran, and that's not a mon you see a ton. Luckily, our team does decently into Heatran. Like, we have superpower on Deoxys to threaten it, and Ogre Pond also just destroys the Pokemon. Tinglu is also just a good switch in initially, so... The biggest threat to me, I would say, is their Ogre Pond. But my Ogre Pond is also a very big threat to them, so that's gonna be kind of how this game is decided, I feel. We can definitely endgame them using Dragonite, but I would rather get rid of Zapdos first if possible, just so we don't have to risk static. That might not be doable, though. Let's lead off with something that does well into Rillaboom, because I think they're bad at Rillaboom, and that's what they're gonna lead off with, so... Skarm. Yeah, they are Rillaboom lead, so we can go right for Spikes here. Hopefully they go for U-turn and just take Rocky Helmet damage for no reason. They actually go for knockoff. I kind of wish I just clicked. What's it called? I'm going to go Tinglu this turn on the... Okay, Heatran. I was expecting Zapdos, but this is fine too. Because now we are here and I can just click Ruination. I don't even mind this getting burned, dude. That's like not a thing that I'm worried about because I was never clicking Earthquake. Anyway, do you want to keep taking damage? Or, oh, you have Protect? That's so annoying. Are you going to go for Magma Storm? Also, is Heatran a crab? Why is it nicknamed Crab? Isn't Heatran like a toad? Or I have no idea. What is Heatran? Somebody let me know in the comments. Okay, so this is getting a ton of recovery because of terrain. <laughs> this terrain is just healing both of us over and over again. I kind of want to go out into my Golden Go this turn. That seems to be the best way to take advantage of this. Especially if they go for, like, rocks. Goes for Moonlight. Let's go for Shadow Ball once, just because if they go Heatran, I would rather hit that harder than what Make It Rain would do. Oh, that Spit F Drop is big, because if they are not, like, max speed, I'm going to knock them out this turn. They are, but we live, and can I get the roll that I just got to knock them out? We can. Nice. That's really good. Because like I said, no static to worry about now. I mean, I could stay in here, but... I do think going Skarmory is the correct play. I haven't shown Brave Bird. Maybe I could take this chance to weaken them, but I would rather go for Spikes again. Okay, let's go for Roost back up to full, and then we'll Spike here on the Heatran coming in. Yeah, that's fine. Like, we got up our spike. And if I go Tinglu here, like, do you have Taunt as your last move? What's the last move? Okay, I haven't shown rocks yet, so I was able to get them up, which is great. Now let's go right for a Ruination. Goes right for Earth Power. We do hit the Ruination. Nice. Let's phase them out this turn. That does go through Protect, right? Yeah. Of course we get this thing. Anything but this would have been good. <laughs> You're not getting your spin off though, dude. Sorry. And if you're not max speed jolly, you're actually just going to take this make it rain and probably lose the game because of it. So go ahead and eat that. Clef comes in. It's just, just going to start calm mining and trying to cheese me here. Yep, Terrifier calm mind. He's just fully committed to cheesing. But because it's Terrifier, <laughs> Ogre Pond just always beats this, so it's not even a problem. In fact, let's just go out into that real quick and just start killing their mon. Good night. 
And I just tear it because there's no reason not to right there. And we're able to just knock out the one big threat left. So another win. Cool. It's funny because I talked about Dragonite winning that game and I never even had to use a Dragonite for anything. So luckily that just worked out really well. We have our Ogre Pond right here, which can Ivy Cudgel everybody. I have a feeling that this Rillaboom might be like Terrain Extender or Heavy Duty Boots as opposed to Choice Band. Let's lead off with something that does a little bit worse into Rillaboom in exchange for good damage into everybody else. And if they lead off with Rilla, I'll go hard Skarm this time. Yeah, but they lead Crown. Okay. This thing could be Vest. It could be a lot of different things, actually. Do I want to stay in, or would I rather just go hard into Tinglu? I think Tinglu is just the better play. Goes right for Tachyon. Like, I could have stayed in, but I don't think I KO'd them, and then Deoxys would just die, so what's the point? Let's go for Rocks here on the Tusk coming in on the hard switch. Okay. We have two decent plays. Skarmory is the better one because I can get up spikes after. I don't know what they thought I would do. Like go Dragonite maybe? That would have been a wild play for me though because why would I want to go Dragonite on a potential rapid spin too? So we go ahead and do that. I'll actually go for Brave Bird now to put them really low. And then we can maybe roost up this turn. I hope they stay in, but they're not going to. They go hard moth. Yeah, that's the correct play. Unfortunately, I'm kind of in a bind here because I need my Tinglu for multiple threats on this team, being Bolt and Crown, but it's also my way to beat this, so... I don't know what I want to do about this right now. I'm tempted to just go right for Terra Dragon and get up my spikes again, but then I get Sludge Waved after. I'll just use the Tinglu to beat this. I don't see what other choice I have. Or actually, you know what, forget beating this. I want to get up rocks and then if they don't Terra, then I can, you know, like, Earthquake. If they do Terra, then I'll Whirlwind them. But Tinglu takes negative damage from Iron Moth, so it's fine. Even Energy Ball won't 2 it KO from 65 after the leftovers, I think, so... We should be good to go right now. Yeah, they hard switch, so rocks was the correct play. Get him right back up. Great Tusk is low. This is going really well. So I just go Skarm here, and what do they want to do about it? Double back into Iron Moth? You don't have a booster, you're going to take rocks this time? Like, that's fine. So they choose to knock off my helmet, which is understandable. Let's go for Roost here and stay healthy. What's the plan? Like, are you just going to spin again to let me... And then go Moth? Like, this is not a winning play. I mean, you get your boost, but... I think to be safe about it, I Whirlwind this time. But that's such a bad, like, thing to do, because I want to get up rocks again. The problem is I could legitimately lose to this now, because... If I click rocks here and they two would kill me, and then they Terra on Deoxys, it's a problem. So they Terra now and go for D-Gleam. Yeah, I just have to forego rocks this game, but that's fine, I guess. Terra Fairy, huh? Well... Yeah, I just let him knock me out as much as I hate it. And then we check whether Dragonite has to Terra to kill an Iron Moth from 40. So Dragonite can just straight up kill, which is nice. I don't have to Terra or do anything fancy like that, right? No point in risking this speed tie. This can kill it, but it's risking a miss, so what's the point in doing that? Dragonite is just the best play. You speed kills, right? Yeah, 41 min. So let's go ahead and get our KO right there. Nice. What do they want to do now? I do wish I had my helmet on Skarm, but I'm a bit worried about Risa Luna. It's looking good though, because like the last big threat is Raging Bolt. And I think Dragonite will beat that every time. Like, okay, they can Terra that. Actually, they can't Terra that, so it's always with the EQ. And they're going out into it now as well. I think the correct play is to EQ it. Just straight up right now, and then try to win using Ogre Pawn or Golden Go. So it could go for T-Clap. That is something we have to consider. E-Speed won't do 32, I don't think. But if I could Terra Normal and kill this right now, but then I can't Terra my Ogre Pawn, which I don't even know if I want to, because then I'm like getting O-Code by that thing. Is the correct play just to Terra Normal E-Speed this right now? 
I don't see why I shouldn't. I don't want to play mind games, like in case you go for Thunderclap or if you go for Thunderbolt and I don't go for the E-Speed. Well, that would be the good outcome, actually. So out comes Crown. I don't know if it's even worth keeping this. Like, Skarmory is decent because it stops the Rillaboom and it tanks from Ursaluna. This Mon, though... Like, I think what I'm going to do now is go right for E-Speed for Chip, then go Golden Go. Something like that. Yeah, goes for Tachyon. That's not bad chip. And then what's the correct play? The Golden Go isn't a terrible play, but they have the Bear, which scares me. Ogre Pond might be the better option right now and just go for Cudgel. I think that's what I want to do. Goes hard to Rillaboom. Like, we knew they would go out into this, right? What do I want to do now? Do I want to predict the U-turn and go for Power Whip? No, we just go Skarm. Forget it. Because Power Whip won't kill, and then, like, even if they go Crown now, it's fine. Like, what are you going to do? Volt Switch? Okay, it has to be, like, Specs, dude. Or Scarf. One of the two. I think I'm kind of losing, though, as much as I hate to admit it. Most Banded Rillabooms are adamant, so can Golden Go make it rain do the damage I need from that percent? Rillaboom. Yeah, make it rain kills. If you're Jolly Choice Band, then you got me, but I think you're adamant. Just to maximize Glide damage. They might go out into Iron Crown. Okay, they actually go for Glide, which is interesting, because now they die, and it's looking good for Ogre Pond from this position. I have to know, is it Scarf Iron Crown, or could it be Specs? I really don't know what's going on. Iron Crown. Oh, it could be anything. Like, it could be Specs, absolutely. But I think the correct play is always take damage here, go Ogre Pond, and hope that's enough. Oh, it's going for bulk up. That's really bad. Is that bad, though? Like, if I just keep chipping away at this, and then go Deoxys and Ice Beam it, and then go Ogre Pond, does that win? I mean, I'm just going to do that. I don't see what else I can do here. Worst case, I'll land a Psycho Boost. They can't Drain Punch. I could try to Nasty Plot, but there's no point in doing that either. Oh, if they're half protected, then yeah, maybe there is. So we'll go for Make It Rain here, then Nasty Plot on the Protect, hopefully, Make It Rain again. Just get them low enough to where I can kill with stuff, you know? This is where Encore Ogre Pond would be so helpful, but unfortunately I don't have Encore. <laughs> so do they take the KO now? Nope, I'm going to plot on the Protect, so that way I'm doing a bit more damage. Okay, they finally take the KO. It's high horsepower, weirdly enough. I gotta check. How much does Ice Beam do? How much does Psycho Boost do? I don't know what this thing's investment is, really, and I'm not gonna do the whole Golden Go to Calc it, so let's just assume it's like a max HP. Okay, max HP even dies to Psycho Boost, so I think I just try to land a Psycho Boost and win that way. I still just click Psycho Boost. There's no reason not to. We do land it. That did no damage. And I don't think there's any world which these moves kill and they're not going to click protect right let's just see whether i have to play off a choke so what did they kill me with a body slam let's say i'm an ogre pawn and they're an ursaluna at plus three defense wait plus three max hp they have to be like spadef so i think we're good maybe hopefully cudgel does 31 min so i can cudgel now Kill that, and then, like, okay, do you have a Psychic move to 2-it KO me? I, I think I have to crit this, unless they can't 2-it KO me with, like, anything. Oh, I'm faster, and I didn't die. I lived, okay, it was Choice Specs, it wasn't Choice Scarf, that did so much. And we knocked them out right there. That was another crazy game, what just happened? But that guy was 1800s, and we're now 1712, which I'm very happy about. So very good live. We won every game, right? I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that sub button and I'll see you all in the next video.